I'm going to show you how to make custom dashes. So first, I'll show you how it worked technically. I will create new line and then I go to fill and strokes, which you can find here. And then I'm going to to the, to the stroke style and go to dashes, custom dashes. And then I have a custom dashes, but if I want to edit how they look, I have to go to XML editor, which is right here, or edit XML editor. You have your path already selected, it's here, and then you have style. Then you have this whole bunch of stuff, but basically you are interested in uh, editing stroke dash array. So basically you can delete everything until this point and then you can start writing down your dashes and gaps. So first one is dash, so let's get, say 10 pixels, then 5 pixels uh, gap and then 20 pixels dash and then again 5 pixels gap so you can see that like this is 10 pixels then this is 5 pixels dash and then again this 20 pixels dash I meant gap <laughs> uh, yes so then again and then it repeats 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 and you can add as many as you want so basically you can add uh, 50 dash then two gap or even like 60 gap I guess and then you press enter and here you go so that's how it works and now we can add it to this character so you have to select it and then go to fill and stroke and dashes at custom go to XML editor style you can delete all this junk and then go for let's say 30 dash then gap 5 then 60 dash then 5 gap then 2 and then 5 and then repeat so yeah you have this and you can edit this ba, ba, ba. and you can basically copy this copy and then select new shape you want to add it and then go past style and you can even offset it in here and yeah that's it it's fully editable you can still change it change your shape and it's still there and it works <laughs>